Welcome home. Welcome to the home that we all know, nature. Today we're going to help you remember what nature can do for us. My name is Lisa Hassan and I work through the Hope Center as a school-based therapist and I'm joined by Susie Kincaid. Hi. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. She is a certified nature-based coach and an amazing human. Susie it is so beautiful here. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a nice setting. It's an amazing Easy setting. place to do nature therapy for sure. Yeah, I really feel that. And I was hoping that we might be able to just talk about that. Um, you know, yeah. I'm experiencing in with the people that I'm working with and in the world around us so much compassion fatigue. Me too. Yeah. You know, it's everywhere. And as a culture, we're swimming in a, in a field in a sea of pain and fatigue and uncertainty. And that brings on a lot of emotional reactions for people. Mm -hmm. And that's where nature can really come in and be a healing source. Yeah. And fortunately, we have this resource that's all around us in nature that is free and easily accessible when we can get in alignment as a human being instead of a human doing. Simply being with this earth and not doing anything. No goal, no accomplishment mm -hmm. has to happen mm -hmm. other than awakening the senses. Mm -hmm. You can get it down to where if you have three minutes, you can do it in three minutes. We mm -hmm. could try it if you'd like. Yeah, of course I was like, let's uh, do it. Okay. That would be great. So let's get a baseline of where you're starting right now. Okay. And uh, tell me if you're feeling any tension anywhere in your body. Mm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I'm noticing it in my jaw, Woo. in my neck. A little bit in my stomach. How's your breath right now? Mm. I'd say it could be better. <laughs> it's a little shallow. So if you can just start with a very deep inhalation, breathing in very deeply, feel your stomach, your diaphragm fill up, and then just release it. And as you do, release some of that tension all the way down from your neck into the ground that you're sitting on and feel that connection to the ground as you release that. Take another breath and I'd like you to just open your mouth slightly and allow your tension in your jaw to, to just come out with your breath. Now on your next breath, Lisa, I would like you to focus on your, your, the sense of touch, your skin. So to inhale deeply and notice how the air feels on your skin, both mm -hmm. where you're covered and where you're uncovered. Mm -hmm. Notice where you're warmer or cooler on your skin. It's a deep focus on the sense of touch, where your hand is touching your chest, what it feels like where you're touching the earth. It's great. I'm feeling the wind on my cheeks. It makes me really happy. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling the earth underneath me and I'm feeling really supported. Fantastic. You can make this as long or as short as you like. We're just going to go at a pretty quick pace to show you the exercise. Dropping back in, Lisa, to feeling that supportedness of the earth. And take another deep breath, grounding, bringing up that energy from below. And as you exhale, this time focus on your sense of smell and taste. The two are very connected. Sometimes you can open your mouth and almost taste the air. Another deep breath. And this time focus on what you can hear. And for hearing, start with what you hear to the left of you, and then to the right of you, in front of you, behind you, even above you, and maybe even below you inside the earth. Mm, I like that. I absolutely am hearing the river behind me. And I'm loving hearing all the leaves dropping. 
And I love noticing that. Great. It's really cool. And it's nice to do that just with the hearing, not mm -hmm. with the eyesight. Right. No, it's just the right. hearing. Good. So eyes closed on this part. Take another deep cleansing breath. Open them with that wide angle gaze that takes in everything without really focusing sharply on anything in particular. So notice colors, mm -hmm. movement. Feels um, like it's, I feel more held mm. by the earth and by nature because I'm noticing everything around me. And what this does is connect you to all that you see from the peripheral all the way around. We stay so focused throughout our day and this is a time to defocus mm -hmm. and drop in mm. and be that human being within this fishbowl of all of the oneness mm -hmm. of nature. So a check in now like we did in the beginning. Yeah. What, how are you feeling in your body? And I just feel at home where I think I was feeling a little bit like a stranger in nature. Now I feel like I belong here. And from that place, you can just keep breathing it in. Keep breathing it in and filling up your, um, your container, this resourcing and regenerating. This meditation, as I'm sure you know, is it releases endorphins in our brain. Mm. So we have that dopamine and serotonin and all that, those good guys coming in, getting a squirt of that into the, to the body and the brain by a little bit of practice. You can do it within one breath. Mm. You know, and what I've noticed is sometimes our inclination when we're feeling low or feeling exhausted is to just go home and cuddle on the couch and watch TV. Mm. When you notice that tendency to want to do that, maybe just try once to do it differently and go out into nature. We're so lucky here in this area because it's everywhere. Even if you can't be outside, you can look at it outside. Take that deep breath. When you put your hands above your heart and your head, that opens the chest, it opens the heart, it opens the breath and the diaphragm, and that's one way to just reach up, open the container, take it in. It's extremely accessible, and it's always, always there for us. Go out into nature and experience it in a different way as a human being and not a human doing. Relax into it and find that sense of belonging to the oneness of life.